When it comes to making money online, most of us think that the fastest, easiest and most bulletproof way is dropshipping products from China. We're actually hoping for a 30k day, that's the goal today. Well for me, this was not the case, and I didn't find any success in the e-commerce space until I stumbled upon personalized products. Even the simplest items mean more when they are customized. One-to-one, so -one, human to human personalization scalably. This company right here can customize any item with your pet's personality. Just look around yourself and you will quickly realize that you are absolutely surrounded by personalization. TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, Netflix and many many more companies have invested millions of dollars just to show you the personalized content that will keep you on these platforms for hours and hours to come. A few years ago Coca-Cola launched a super successful campaign called Share a Coke which featured common first names on their Coca-Cola bottles, instantly transforming their standard beverage into something that consumers perceive as a personalized product. Or let's take Pop Socks, a company that makes custom pet products that feature customers' favorite photos of their furry friends. And man, it was a success. They launched the store back in 2017 and quickly scaled the business to $8 million in just 30 days. Would you say they affect us mainly on an unconscious level? The main reason why personalization is so powerful lies behind a hormone called dopamine. Dopamine is triggered when certain things occur, such as eating a food we really love, having people like our social media post, or shopping. Dopamine starts to take effect as soon as shoppers consider making a purchase because they will imagine how it will feel to own the object they are looking at. Now, when dopamine is triggered, you will feel a strong sense of satisfaction and pleasure. If we bring in things like discounts, deals and product recommendations with particular personal relevance, the effect is significantly heightened. A Black Friday is likely to set records today. And a recent study found that one in four consumers are willing to pay more to receive receive a personalized product or service. TV for 600 bucks? You'd have to be insane to give that up. But now, let's get to the bigger question. How was I able to make $10,000 in 30 days using personalization? Well, one day I was just scrolling on Facebook when I stumbled upon an advertisement from a company called Turned Yellow. Ah, we're turned yellow! It's awesome. It's the real deal. Basically how it works is you will send them a photo that you would like to get drawn in this yellow character art style. And once the company receives your order, they will then send the photo to an artist who will draw your picture, usually by computer or an iPad. Once the artwork is done, the artist will send back the final file to the company and the company will just forward the digital file to the customer's mail address. Working pretty much as a middleman. Now, there are a lot of different interesting art styles in the market, but I immediately fell in love with the idea of getting to know what would you look like if you were in the popular Simpsons TV show. But I knew I couldn't possibly create the exact same store selling the exact same product. Or could I? But before we get to that question, all I ask for is that you turn the like button blue and maybe even consider subscribing. I would be super thankful. But with that, let's hop back into the video. Well, I could sell the exact same product, but I needed to take a slightly different approach if I wanted to make things work. So. This is what I did. I knew that Turned Yellow and few other large yellow character companies are just too big to compete with because they have already established a strong brand around their product and have spent probably hundreds of thousands of dollars on advertising. Now I live in a small country in Europe called Estonia and I thought to myself what if I can take the exact same product but just innovate it a little bit and bring it in front of a new audience. Now before deciding to take the leap I wanted to see how much money are these bigger companies actually making to decide if there is a big enough demand for this product. Two days ago we passed two hundred thousand dollars like in two weeks maybe. So I went ahead and made an order on Turned Yellow's website and usually the order number you receive is actually the number of how many orders have they received. Now if we take the estimated AOE of fifty dollars times the order number we get an estimated lifetime revenue of six million dollars which I thought was super crazy. And imagine if you could just make 10% of that it would be six hundred thousand dollars. My hypothesis was that all of these bigger yellow character companies could possibly not reach all of the countries around the world with their ads. Now that I had the final green light, I went ahead and created my own yellow character store 
but I made the website fully in Estonian language, which I already speak fluently. Now, if your only language is English, you can find someone from Fiverr who will help you out with any language there is in the world. What had me most excited about this product was the high margins and huge scalability, because the customer can actually choose how many people would they like to turn yellow, and the price goes up by $30 per person. Now, you can get an artist who will draw you one person in this yellow character art style for literally as low as $5. Now, if the customer decides they want a drawing of three people, that will cost them around $110 and for you, only $15. So you will keep the $95 profit. Now, bear in mind though that this is a high ticket product and your customer acquisition cost is definitely higher compared to selling lower ticket products. But once the customer receives a digital copy of the artwork, you can upsell them a frame poster, canvas, pillow or even a mug inside of the order complete email using the print on demand suppliers like Printful. And this is exactly what Turned Yellow is also doing. That way you can easily scale up your profits even more. Unlike ordering products from China where everything seems to be very uncertain. The right hand side, black pot, stop working correctly. In this business, you can 100% control what you will send out to your customer and when you will send it. Also, customers are not able to have refunds on this digital artwork because it's personalized for them. Although they can ask for revisions, which most of the companies do offer for free. Now, you might be wondering about the legalities of this business. Can The Simpsons actually sue you for selling this kind of artwork? Well, I have done my homework on this subject and my conclusion is that you cannot copyright an art style if the company doesn't associate themselves with The Simpsons in any way or form. And to avoid any trouble selling this art style, you should leave a small note to your website telling that your company is in no way associated or authorized by The Simpsons. Once it was time to advertise the product, then instead of just copy pasting my competitors' creatives, I carried out a photo shoot to create my own unique product photos. Immediately, I started to get a lot of traction to my store and I was even called out to a TV show to give a more detailed explanation of this turning people yellow business, which not only did skyrocket my sales, but also proved my hypothesis right. People in my country had never heard or seen something like that and that's because these big companies are not targeting smaller countries with their ads. They are focused on bigger countries with more audience, leaving the smaller countries pretty much untouched. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel, just copy what's already working and bring it in front of a new audience. And as we can see there are some stores out there using the exact same strategy and probably making hundreds of thousands of dollars just by selling personalized products that have proven to be working. And right now with Q4 being right around the corner, it is actually the best time of the year to start selling personalized products. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be yellow character portraits, it can be whatever, pet portraits, custom bubble heads, anime portraits, custom moon lamps, I mean you name it. But the fact is that personalization is the thing, especially during the holiday season. Ok guys, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it, if you did please make sure to subscribe and like this video and I will see you in the next one.